All right, welcome back. You're still watching Metrify right here on Channels Television. Now, finally, on the program, join us as we celebrate a media entrepreneur, a businessman, and the founder of Dark Communications, that's High Chief Raymond Dokbesi. On the day Nigerians were ushering a new democratic leadership on May the 29th, 2023, the sad news of the passing of the founder of Dar Communications, High Chief Raymond Dokwesi, began to circulate both in mainstream and social media. The news was a huge blow to many who have grown to love and respect the businessman, especially for his contribution to the media space. For the family, this date will forever come with sober feeling for them as they painfully prepare to continue life without their father. A special service of songs in his honor was held in Lagos, attended by family members, media executives, and other friends and well wishers. Apart from being one of the pioneers of private media in Nigeria, with the establishment of his company, Dark Communications, which later gave birth to Ray Power Radio Stations, the television network Africa Independent Television AIT, High Chief Raymond Dokwasi also blazed the trail in indigenous shipping business and helped shape policy that enhanced the participation of Nigerians in a sector that was dominated by foreign lines. But I know it is not death that I see. It is just a relocation, a relocation to a higher plane and a better place, where even the angels will be surprised when you start blazing other trails. I feel like His children, Kufu, Dolakbo and Halima, spoke so highly of him. He spoke words of encouragement, he prayed for us, he, he, he was just very expectant of excellence and great things from us. It was so infectious, he would dance, he would listen to music, we would all just have a good time. We would all miss, miss that atmosphere that he used to create. We can only continue to make him proud even as he's left us now, but we will cherish all the memories and all what he's taught us, especially to be successful.
This is his country home, Agenabode, a quiet town in Esako East local government area of Edo State. On this day, they trooped out in their numbers as one of their illustrious sons returned home. His body was received by residents in grand style for a man who has done so much for his community. service of songs held at his residence. At St. Peter's Secondary School compound, prominent guests joined his family for the final funeral mass. always good to be good. Life is worth living only to the extent that we leave it to the service of humanity. All of us will end up like this tomorrow. And if we do, what will you be remembered for? And as a philanthropist, positively touching so many lives in the society as a whole, and offering empowerment to many people and scholarship to indigent students. The bishop prays for the soul of the departed. Hail Mary. And then the mass ends, and then another slow drive to his final resting place begins. The procession ends at his graveside. Tears flow, emotions expressed as he is committed to earth. Just have to give glory to God for your life well spent and really appreciate everything he's done and really focus on the legacies uh, he's left behind and what he would have liked for us to do with them. Nigerians born a great man, a trailblazer and distinguished Nigerian. High Chief Raymond Dokbasi died at the age of 71, leaving behind his wives, children, grandchildren and other family members. May his soul rest in peace. All right, High Chief Raymond Dokbasi will not be forgotten in a hurry, especially in the media fraternity. May his memory remain evergreen.
and our deepest condolences to his family. Well, it's a wrap on the show today. Thank you so much for watching. Now, remember that you can always watch this and past editions of the program on our YouTube page. Now, don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. Now, thank you once again for watching. I am Oge Chukwosi Oyelude. Bye for now. <music>